What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Guy Pandemonium. Took a year off. I am back with another Port Royale 4 video. This one's going to be a little slower. Um, I know last video I talked about getting into annexing towns, you know, getting, you know, military ships ready, patrol routes, kind of honing in on some uh, trade routes here. Um, but this video, I'm going to change it up a little bit. This is my third time looking at Port Royale 4 since that last video. Neither of the times I've looked at it have been long. So this video, my goal is to get Georgetown, show you guys once that's fully done, how it's kind of set. And then I'm going to work on Port of Spain um, and Granada or Port of Spain and Cumana. Um, kind of just depends. I want to thank everyone that's kind of been around still that's, you know, kind of poked and prodded for me to come back. I will be back here not necessarily full time, but I'm going to try to do two to three videos a week. Um, those videos are going to be kind of Port Royale and some other things, but there'll be another video on that that I'm going to release later today as well. Um, so you get two videos in one day, so go 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 wild. Um, but then again, thank you guys all for your support and uh, kind of hanging around the channel a year later. So we're going to go ahead and get started here with Georgetown. I came in, I looked at it, everything's kind of done. We just kind of have to wait for citizens to flood in. All the housing and everything was done. Hopefully that made sense. If it did not make any sense, we're gonna do the same thing here in Port of Spain. Um, so we're gonna zoom in here. I wanna see really quickly what it can and can't do. Um, so one quick one before you even buy it, you can always go to the construct. And if you tab over to what can go, It'll actually tell you at the bottom if it's not possible. Wheat is possible um, because we're starting off early. I know I kind of mentioned this earlier. Um, so because we can do a brewery, we're going to do wheat and a brewery here at the same time. Now, what I was talking about earlier about creating supply and demand is once I get wheat successful in another island, I'm actually going to kill all the wheat here and turn it to breweries and other things. Um, just to kind of help, you know, regulate supply, you know, more money for me if I can have, you know, one of my businesses doing wheat on one side, you know, of the world, you know, buying it dirt cheap because it produces so much and then selling it at a high cost here because of the brewery, which in turn kind of isn't the best, you know, for me when you look at it as this perspective of if I have wheat here, you know, if I don't have wheat here, let me just, let me just clean slate it. If I have wheat in a brewery in this island, I'm not gonna be making as much money as if I had wheat on this island, another island, and a brewery on this island. And what I'm getting at is, to start off, because it's fresh, I'm gonna have wheat and breweries, no big deal. I'm gonna let them run rampant. I'm gonna let it just go and output beer. Later down the road, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to regulate my wheat farms on this island to only supply my brewery with enough wheat to produce beer at a certain level. Meaning I'm not getting ripped off, you know, from my brewery having to buy wheat at an extremely high price when they could buy it around a middle, upper, like a little higher than average price. Not a big deal, but that's gonna be something we'll get into later. Um, so for the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, um, back out of that. I'm gonna actually go ahead and buy a building permission for 50,000 because we've got money. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go down here to five, uh, yeah, we'll do three times and we'll actually zoom dependent and we're gonna uncheck that box. So time's gonna keep going um, as we're here. So we have a building permit now here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and construct. Let's we'll see what we can do here. Wheat, cotton, and corn. Corn is awesome because corn is just a flat out commodity that doesn't really go into anything else as you can see. Oh, corn is needed for a livestock farm, makes sense. I've got a livestock farms on another island. So I could possibly show you guys what I was just talking about, how creating supply and demand with the corn here. Um, weaving mill, I could do weaving mill, which eventually would turn into that. So I think for this island, guys, its final state looking at it is going to be cotton, weaving, tailoring. Ooh, but it has a foundry. Mm. Foundries, building materials, I'm gonna need that pretty early on. So we're gonna go ahead and start here, guys. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and start off with, uh, we'll do the 
foundry over here. No one likes a foundry, right? No one, no one likes foundries over here. So we're going to go ahead and just start it on over here. Um, we'll do four there. Now, what you want to do with your wheat here and the brewery, since I can do a brewery workshop, something else you got to keep in mind is that the breweries do, in fact, give off positive benefits to actual people, but wheat gives negative, so you have to go a block, a couple blocks away. It's, it's kind of a pain, um, but I'll, I'll show you kind of how I regulate that. So, um, I forgot, hang on one second, Port of Spain. Isn't there, can't remember off the top of my head. I've got to buy, uh, I try to got to do like the administrator once I have 40 workers in here. So not a big deal. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go up here and we're going to start with some corn. Don't want to get too wild with it. Um, say that now. I'll do two corn. Actually, because of my livestock farm, I'm going to go ahead and do 12 total corn fields over here with some more foundries. The only reason I'm truly going to be building foundries on this is because it is a building material, so we are going to need it um, pretty early on. So now the wheat, the whole wheat deal here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put my four wheat here. I'm going to put a brewery here as well. Um, actually, I take it back. I'm going to... Uh, I have to think here for a little bit how I used to do this all the time. Um, and I'm having doubts on how I used to really do this before having a village built. Um, because if I do that, no. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. We'll, we'll go with it this way. Um, not, a, not a big deal here. And we get a good amount there. That gets a lot of amount there. I'm just going to do it like this. Um, two, three, four. That's there. And then I can put a brewery there. Right? Yeah. And then one, two, three, four. And I can put a brewery there. That way it gives it off the tail end. Oh, I'm out of money. All right, so back out. We're going to go ahead and put that thing on five times. Don't know why. Okay, it doesn't make much sense. Okay, but no big deal. So now i got to wait. Hopefully I didn't just bankrupt myself. I have, I have faith in my routes here um, that we'll get some money back. Like I was saying, guys, I appreciate you all for stopping by. This video, I'm gonna try and get Georgetown, Port oh, of Spain, and another. One of your warehouses is overflowing. Uh oh. Um, I'm gonna try and get one of, you know, two towns done, and hopefully we can start going into some stuff. So I'm gonna zoom back in here to Georgetown because one of my warehouses is apparently overflowing. Now, which one is my warehouse? It's a church, town hall, town square, and architect. Hey ho! You go. should pick up some commodities. We're gonna just let that go. Yeah, we're gonna let that go. We'll just let Georgetown go. Alright, we got a new task here from the Just when I thought I'm going to assume it's probably going to be here in Humana. No, it is not. Caracas? Oh, Lord. Granada? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Not possible in Granada. Jeez, Louise. Barbados, there you are, you beautiful little thing here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy a building permission. I know, I know, I, I really shouldn't be buying it, but I am, so... All right. Let that play 
out for a little bit, get some more money here. This is the only thing about pretty early on, guys, is you're not going to have a whole, whole lot of spending money. Once I get, you know, Your these... warehouse is bursting at the I, seams. I got you, man. I, I feel you. So if that's the case, what I'll do is I'll come here. Small warehouse. Oh. I'll go into a later video on the warehouse situation. Um, pretty much, um, you want to kind of get it full and then you can kind of just let it go. I'll do a deep dive, but for early on, just fill it up, let it loose, do your thing. Back to Barbados. All right. Trying to get that Viceroy uh, test going for the needless consultants. Like I said, early on, I will go ahead and just kind of do a lot of resources just to go out and get buildings going since it is a building material. Alright, so in here I had those were the wheat fields for recommend. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it at that for the time being. Now I should be able to go to the you Vice have a Roy, Port of Spain. Oh, I need five hundred workers. Oh Lord, oh Lord, okay, okay, okay. All right, not a big deal. We, we can make it work. Uh, where's Port of Spain? What? They have a... a lack of workers, yada, yada, yada. I'm sorry, I really can't help you out on that one. 425 coal, some wood. What does this guy want? Ah, uh, can't, can't really plunder. Don't have much for that. Let's go back here to Georgetown, see what she's looking like. Aha, all right. I kind of remember what I was doing here, and I kind of don't. This was livestock. That was all livestock, corn, veggies. All right. All right, yeah, so we're going to construct some stuff here. Yeah. I want to demolish stuff. I want to build some stuff. So essentially, I want to do um, what did I want to do? I'm trying to remember now. I had these free gaps right here. And I cannot recall. They didn't like that nonsense. That got a boost, but I don't need it because that doesn't do it, that doesn't do it. That does it, but I don't have any wheat. You could always do that here and then just do a fuck ton of wheat there. Excuse my language. Just trying to think through the process, guys. I've got these empty spots. I can't remember exactly what my reasoning was. I was thinking maybe if I did the breweries here and did wheat there may have been what I was looking at doing. Otherwise, it would have been like parks and all that good goody stuff. Um, we'll go and put a park there. Don't need a hospital anymore. There's a tavern, but we already have all that. Um, yeah, that's already there. So that pretty much has everything taken care of. So I'm trying to remember. Sorry, guys. I should have kind of dove into this a little bit more beforehand. Um, hmm. Do not recall, and that is very upsetting. So, I'm going to leave that for the time being. It should get up to its total population. Supply of town buildings. Oh, markets. That's okay. That makes sense. So, the markets are at 68%. So, that makes more sense. That, 
That, that makes me feel a little bit better about what I was necessarily doing. So we'll do that. Let that go out for a little bit. Go back here into the port of Spain. That's all still building. I need a ton of workers there. Not, I did not have. Forgot this now. Didn't I buy Barbados? Yeah. All right. So we're just going to let it play out for a little bit, guys. Um, this is Viceroy's town. Let me look at one thing, what my trade routes I have are. Um, starter route, fame route, starter route, fame route. Okay, I have, like, no routes. How many ships do I have? Sorry, guys, these are all things I realistically should have looked at uh, before getting back online. Um, no captains. Okay. Good thing. What was... I could have swore there was... Company... Ah, here we go. How many ships do I... I only have eight vessels. Well, that just isn't gonna... Isn't gonna fly. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to Caracas. Large shipyard. And order... Okay, so I can't actually begin ordering some ships here. We're gonna hold off on that. We're going to order some of these fleets. Alright, 24,000. I'll do. Uh, I'll do four of them. One, two, three, four. I'll do four of them. Alright. I get the trade route. You so. have increased the production of commodities. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so with that being done, the I nation. should be able to concession. Yeah, concession. Um, one thing I would recommend doing. Um, bum, 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 bonus on settlers. Increases by ten. Free passage, housing guarantee, the galleon, the war galleon. Large shipyard. Sorry guys, I'm just thinking to myself here kind of how I want to go about this process. If I want to go down and immediately get war galleons, because war galleons are super nice. They do have a lot of room. You can also use them on trade routes. They're also nice just to kind of sit near the outside of your uh, your your countries i guess your cities and um just kind of have them patrol and just take out other ships um, they do cost a lot so you kind of have to keep them in a close proximity so you can kind of keep them back and forth uh, and then i'm also trying to figure out you know rope is also a really good commodity bake i mean money is going to be the first thing here I mean, we're going to lose ships here probably in the next few years, but I really don't think I'll need a war galleon. Um, so, with that being said, I don't have any of that. I've got maybe, maybe. So, right now I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm going to need building materials to really get a couple more towns going, which building materials, the forge, would be really useful in my head, but then I'm also thinking a captain's license to go and get them trained would also be nice. Um, we're actually going to go for the, the, the high risk reward here, the carpentry. Yep, and then we're going to go with large shipyard war gallon. We're going to go ahead and pretty much get a war gallon and a captain set up to start getting experience, so annexing towns is a lot easier. Getting captains up early on is a huge plus. Um, so we'll, we'll just go with that for the time being. Port of Spain, risk of plagues at 84%, insufficient living space. I know, guys, I don't have, I don't think I have enough Take a seat. buy. Port of Spain, I'm currently only 252 workers. Um, but that should be enough. So we're going to let that fly for a little bit here. We can kind of look around for a little bit. Martinique has Coco. Guadalupe has quite a lot, actually. 
Porto Cabello, Coro, Mafaibu. I'm probably butchering these, so I'm, I apologize. Once those uh, flats are done, I'm actually going to put them on a large, quite rather large, um, rather large uh, route, I should say. But it'll be more for Guadalupe. I'm really not trading with these guys for Guadalupe, which kind of is a You have idea. arrived. Did I get another concession? No, I did not. Okay. Whoever takes out the cowboy. Today, the war between Spain and England ends. What does Gibraltar want? What does, what does Gibraltar want? Okay. Not going to tell me. Cool. Coro. Riley Moore. I'm not too, too worried about him right now. Ah, steals those vessels, okay. Alright, so we're, we've got some money now. Um, that may be enough you have for Spain. For Spain? Ooh, but I need a thingamabob. Alright, so before I do any more to that, I've got to get a concession point, I guess. Uh, from the Viceroy. So what I'm going to kind of do here is I'm going to get fame going on. Um, what I'm pretty much going to do is have a couple ships, probably two of those flouts, just drive around nonstop and buy those resources and deliver them to the actual Viceroy. And that's just going to be kind of a fame grind, if you will. So pretty much what I need is cotton, coffee and cacao um, so we're gonna see cotton so there's there's a few little spots here so what we're gonna do I think I have a building license or a building permission yep all right so I'm gonna go in here I'm going to go ahead and buy cotton So what I'm kind of doing here, guys, is I'm pretty much going to come in here. I'm going to buy these areas. Now, I'm not going to fully construct them like I normally would right now for the time being. I just want to pretty much up the amount of resources I can get, for instance, for the Viceroy's, um, for his wants and needs, I guess is what I'm looking for. Ooh, did I have enough? Okay, I did, but barely. All right. So that, that's kind of where I'm at with it, guys. Um, four. Ooh, not enough. All right, so I'll back out, let it go for a little bit. And then once those flouts are there, I'm going to actually have two of them just kind of go around buying, 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 buying. We'll get some, uh, we'll get some decent money from it, nothing crazy. But that's not what we're doing it for. We're doing it for the fame points, for the concessions. Um, and so on. Alright, so that's that. Um, Caracas, let's go get our boats. Should have... I've got three flouts ready. Okay. So, if I go to my lighthouse here, Espirito Santo, yep, here it is, trade routes, create new route, rename route, we're going to call it the fame route, we're going to edit this route, alright, so, we're going to start here in Cumana, Caracas, um, Porto Cabello, we don't really need, Coro, we don't really need, it's Maracaibo and that, so what we're going to do here, um, the way I'm looking at this route, I said I was going to go into a little more details, I'm now looking at the wind here, 
So if you monitor Caracas is downwind, I'm then going to go out here to these islands and I will then hit Coro. Coro will then go to Maracaibo, Maracaibo to Gibraltar, Gibraltar back to Maracaibo, Marciabo, Maracaibo, I pronounce it, back to Coro, Porto Cabello, and then that will bring me back to uh, Caracas. And then it'll go Caracas to Cuman and back to Caracas. All right, so now that we have that, um, we can go to, I forgot how I do this now. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is, that's up there, that's selecting. That's that. That's that. Oh, geez, I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember now. Guys, I am terribly sorry. So trade routes. Fame route, edit route, okay. Pro Cumana, Caracas, I'm going to, uh, Lord, where is it at? Um, is it this guy? Yeah, it's this guy, right? I guess it's not really gonna affect me all too terribly much. I'm not gonna lose a whole lot. Okay, so. Ooh, no, back up. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. I completely forget. I'm like drawing a blank on this right now. Yeah, that's it. So why is it not? Default values. Okay, there we go. Looks like they changed it up, so I don't recall. All right, so here we are. We're going to pretty much do everything here, Kumana. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm going to buy kind of automatically and let it kind of go for a second. Um, other than cotton, I'm going to toggle that one. Um, price is not going to be automatic. It's going to be at a max of... We'll say 60. We're trying to make some money on it, which I don't see as an issue. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about that one. Caracas, okay. Yeah, yeah, bye, 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 sell, sell, sell. Caracas is hometown, okay, so. In the hometowns, you're going to want to go to each item, sell, you're at the highest priority, and we're going to sell it at a whatever price. Don't care what it is, I'm selling it at a whatever price. Um, the rest, I'm not really too worried about at the moment. We can get into it to kind of really refine it once they get going. This is just a fame route, so pretty much, we're going to let our ships buy and sell you know, trade as they normally would, except we're going to just put an emphasis on selling, you know, goods at um, Caracas, the ones we really need. So then going to Coro. Coro, I don't think, had anything in particular. So, for instance, um, the cotton, I'm going to turn that off. Um, I'm just going to actually turn cotton off on all the ones that are sell, which should be be other than Caracas here at a whatever price. Um, oh Jesus! All right, on to the next one, Caracas. We're gonna sell these guys at you know the whatever price, get as much money as we can for them. So then going up to Puerto Cabello, I'm gonna turn. Oh, I get so tired of this sometimes. All right. Porto Cabello, we're turning that off, we're turning that off, that's already off, 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 Marcibo, uh, buy, um, we'll do it at a max of, we'll go ahead and put it at 100 and just kind of see how that rolls. Max 
maximum. We'll say 125. And these are all things that I'm just kind of roughly off the head going off of, guys. Um, we're going to end up changing them, I'm sure. So not a, not a big deal here. The main thing is just making sure that we have everything that we're, you know, selling. We're not selling to these guys. We're only buying. So that should be that guy right there. All right. So if I go this guy here, let's repo. I sign it by that route. I'm going to let it go. All right. So I'm going to let that fame route kind of go for a little bit. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep it going, to be honest with you. I'm going to give these guys the same trade route. Actually, let's see how that goes for a little bit, because I probably need to start trading with Guadalupe. Um, they do have they do have some nice items, so uh, we'll hit those four items, those four islands up. Starter out, fame route, fame route, fame route one. Hmm. Okay, I'm a little confused with my routes here, so. We're gonna do a new route here. We're gonna just do trade route four and make it real quick here. Guadalupe, Guadalupe, Martinique, Granada, we'll do Port of Spain, Barbados, and then it goes back to Guadalupe. Settings, default, 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 default. I'm not gonna worry with it too much right now as I want to just get those guys going. So. We're going to let that go for a little bit and then see how the routes play out. Um, we're going to, like I said, we're going to let that go. Trying to get pretty much a fame point here. So I will see you guys on the next video. I'm not going to make you sit here and wait the entire time. I appreciate you guys. Sorry this video wasn't so much. You may not have learned much. Hopefully my rambling kind of led to something. If there's anything you didn't quite understand why I did, please go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Um, so once again, that's Port Royal 4. We're starting on the second island. I want this video to be a couple hours long, so I'm going to rake up some money. I'm going to let my points go, and then I'm going to come in and show you guys another in the next video, kind of finishing off a couple cities, and then kind of getting a military, um, military presence going. And that's going to be the next video as I kind of get warmed up back into the groove of you know the controls of the game, since it does look like there have been some updates since I last played. So thank you guys very much. Um, this will be the first of many videos coming out. And I will see you guys on the next one. And I appreciate you all for coming by. And look out for the next video. It's going to be kind of a where the channel is going, what I plan on doing, and if you guys have any recommendations. So once again, thank you guys. Peace.